Hello and welcome to Informatica Discovery IQ Support KP video. Here we will discuss about best practices that we can follow for Informatica Cloud using Discovery IQ. So our main agenda in this will be to manage user and user groups using user management on the usage of Salesforce single sign-on, to optimize the use of Salesforce lookup and the standard naming conventions that we can follow in Informatica Cloud. Now let's move on to Informatica Discovery IQ page. For best practices, we have to go in this analytics tab. In this, the third option is of best practices. It's loading. Here we can see four options. User management, Salesforce single sign-on usage, Salesforce lookup and standard naming conventions. Now let's have a look at user management. It will tell us the active and inactive users and the users whether they are present in any group or not. As here we can see that there are inactive users. The number displayed here is 31, means 31 users are inactive in this org, and six users are not present in any of the. Now let's see inside user management. Here we can see two options: inactive users and user groups. Inactive users are categorized on the basis of users those who have not logged in Informatica Cloud in last 30 days. We can have details of all those users as username, user ID and last login date. This detail is useful regarding company security perspective whether that user, those who have not logged in last 30 days, belong to that organization still or not. And in user groups, we can see what all user groups are present in this. Uh, by hovering the mouse over this blue circle, we can see how many users are present in this user group. And this red circle represents the users those who are not present in any user group. So using this, you can have a, you can have an idea that if you are applying uh, permissions on all the user groups, then uh, the users, those who are not present in any user group, won't have that permissions on them. Now let's move on to our second option, Salesforce single sign-on usage. Here we can see SSO enabled users. The number is nine means nine users have enabled the sing Salesforce single sign-on and total 67 users are there so let's move inside yeah we can see a pie chart in this pie chart this represents the enabled single sign-on and the disabled single sign-on so we can have we have advantage of enabling single sign-on that we need not to log into another browser video and there is no hassling of remembering multiple passwords and it will help in centralized user management for password policy and user access here we have a video also which will explain how to configure single sign-on on Informatica Cloud. So using this video, you can enable single sign-on for Salesforce. So this was all about Salesforce single sign-on usage and you can have that details in tabular form also and pie chart form also. Now let's have a look on our third option of Salesforce lookup. This report will tell us the number of tasks that are using Salesforce as a lookup. Here is a, here uh, it's loading. Yeah, here we can see a pie chart. Uh, this will, this is telling us that there are 77 tasks that are using Salesforce as a lookup. And as we know that every record, if it is using Salesforce as a lookup, then it will consume one API. So this may increase your Salesforce API limit consumption and may take longer time for jobs to run. So it basically it's for to optimize the task that you are running or we can use that by limitations resolved by a related object or a flat file lookup. And now let's move on to our fourth option, standard naming conventions. As we know that standard naming conventions, it improves readability and uh, facilitates smooth migration. So we recommend the following Informatica cloud naming conventions and standards. It's loading yeah here we can see here we can see the informatica guidelines of informatica community link in this we can see the following standard naming conventions that we have suggested like for secure agent and uh, connections and uh, tasks and task flows so using this we have we have customized rules for naming here we have decided the we have given the sample format you can modify it by your own and you can save it and then after saving here you can see that 
all those tasks and schedulers task flows those who are not following that rules will list here and you can have the name of those all here itself so it will give you an idea of how many tasks and task and schedulers those who are following the naming conventions so that it will help you in uh, smooth uh, migrations and uh, consistency and readability so this video was all about best practices that we can follow informatica cloud using discovery iq thanks for your time thank you